In the fierce competition of wide-body aircraft, the Boeing 777X and Airbus A350 have long been locked in an intense rivalry, dominating the market as the top choices for airlines seeking cutting-edge long-haul jets. This battle seemed to be an exclusive contest between the two Western giants. There was no slot for a third contender. However, Russia has decided to shake up the game with the IL-96-400M, an ambitious aircraft designed to challenge the dominance of Boeing and Airbus. But how exactly will this Russian jet take on its Western rivals? What makes it stand out? Let's find out. To understand the IL-96-400M, we must go back to the 1970s when the Ilyushin IL-86, the first wide-body aircraft of Russia, was introduced. It was a breakthrough designed for long-haul flights and featuring unique innovations such as built-in staircases, allowing it to operate at airports with limited infrastructure. However, this also came at the cost of reduced cargo space. By the late 1980s, Russia needed a more competitive aircraft, leading to the birth of the IL-96-300. This was more than just an upgrade. It featured PS-90 turbofan engines, marking a major leap forward from older Soviet engines. For the first time, this country had an aircraft with engines that could compete with Western counterparts in terms of performance and fuel efficiency. Despite high expectations for the IL-96-300 to become the backbone of Russian aviation, it failed to achieve commercial success. Its limited capacity made airlines hesitant as they sought larger aircraft that could carry more passengers and cargo while offering better operating costs. To address these shortcomings, Russia introduced the IL-96-400 in the early 2000s, an extended version of the IL-96-300 featuring aerodynamic improvements, advanced avionics, and upgraded onboard systems. This model could carry more passengers and fly longer distances. Yet, even with these enhancements, the IL-96-400 struggled to gain traction in the global market, which Boeing and Airbus already dominated. More importantly, Airlines had begun shifting towards twin-engine aircraft for better fuel efficiency, making the four-engine aircraft less attractive. However, a new chapter unfolded just when it seemed like the story had ended. Recently, driven by Western sanctions and an increased demand for domestically produced aircraft, Russia has decided to revive the IL-96 program, giving rise to the IL-96-400M, an upgraded version with extended range, improved fuel efficiency, and modernized systems. This is not just a technical advancement, but a bold move by Russia to reclaim its position in the wide-body aircraft market. Will this new Russian variant be able to change the game, or will it follow the fate of its predecessors? Let's see the details. Every aircraft needs a powerful and reliable engine. For the IL-96-400M, that role belongs to the PS-90. But hold on, you're still here? That's epic. We're on a mission to hit 50,000 subscribers, and guess what? You can be a part of it. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Let's make this milestone happen together. Huge thanks. Introduced in the late 1980s, the PS-90A was a game changer for Russian aviation. It was Russia's first engine capable of competing with Western counterparts like the Rolls-Royce RB211 and Pratt and Whitney PW4000. Quieter, more fuel efficient and compliant with international emissions and noise regulations, it marked a significant leap beyond its Soviet-era predecessors. But even with these advancements, the PS-90A wasn't enough to close the gap with Western engines. Airlines demanded even greater fuel efficiency to lower operational costs. Russia responded with the PS-90A2, an upgraded version featuring advanced materials, improved fuel consumption, and lower maintenance costs. Compared to the original PS-90A, the A2 variant delivers around 10% better fuel efficiency. That might not sound like much, but in aviation, even a 1% fuel savings can translate into millions of dollars annually. Not only that, this country is developing the PD-35, a next-generation powerhouse with up to 76,000 pounds of thrust, designed to rival Boeing 777X's G9X to cut fuel burn, emissions, and maintenance costs. However, the biggest challenge lies in developing this engine without relying on foreign components, a consequence of sanctions. If successful, the PD-35 won't just strengthen Russia's aviation independence, it could become a major contender in the global engine market. Moreover, the IL-96-400M is not just an extended version of the IL-96-300, 
It represents a significant leap in design and technology. With an increased length of nearly 10 meters, this aircraft can accommodate up to 436 passengers in an all-economy configuration, optimizing operational efficiency and helping airlines reduce costs per flight. Aerodynamically, the variant 400M features improved wings that reduce drag, enhance flight performance, and improve fuel efficiency. The fuselage has also been redesigned to optimize airflow, extending range and lowering operating expenses, an essential factor for long-haul routes. The aircraft's avionics have undergone significant upgrades. Advanced electronic flight systems allow pilots to control the aircraft more easily and precisely, while modern navigation and communication systems ensure stable operations in all weather conditions. Inside the cabin, the aircraft prioritizes passenger comfort with a spacious interior, larger overhead storage compartments, and an upgraded in-flight entertainment system. Airlines can also customize seating arrangements to cater to different customer segments, from economy class to premium business class. With these enhancements, it is not just a wide-body aircraft, but a strategic choice in the evolving aviation market. However, is that enough to be a game-changer? When it comes to performance, the IL-96-400M boasts an impressive range of approximately 10,000 kilometers, making it well-suited for long-haul international routes. However, a critical question arises, is a four-engine design still a viable choice in an era where the aviation industry is shifting towards more fuel-efficient twin-engine aircraft? There is an undeniable advantage. Four engines provide enhanced safety, particularly on routes over remote areas or vast oceans where emergency landing options are limited. This makes the aircraft a compelling choice for specific operations. However, the drawbacks are equally apparent. Higher maintenance costs and greater fuel consumption compared to twin engine competitors like the Boeing 777X and Airbus A350-1000. And this is the reason for a game changer giving birth. Recognizing this challenge, Russia is exploring the possibility of developing a twin-engine version of the variant 400M, powered by the next-generation PD-35 engine. This upgrade could significantly boost efficiency while lowering operating costs, positioning the aircraft as a more competitive alternative in the global market. Lower fuel consumption translates to reduced carbon emissions, a crucial factor as the world becomes increasingly focused on environmental sustainability. Beyond economic and ecological benefits, Geopolitical considerations also play a role. Western sanctions have restricted Russia's access to foreign-built aircraft and engines, making domestic solutions like the PD-35 more vital than ever. By investing in indigenous propulsion technology, this country not only ensures the sustainability of its aviation industry, but also strengthens its strategic independence. If successful, the PD-35 could become more than just an engine. It could symbolize Russia's resilience and determination to establish itself as a formidable force in aerospace, despite external pressures. A twin-engine IL-96-400M equipped with this advanced power plant might just be the breakthrough Russia needs to reshape its presence in the global aviation industry. However, developing a new aircraft engine is no simple feat. It requires years of research, substantial investment, and rigorous testing. The goal is to bring the PD-35 into service by 2025, but this timeline is ambitious. Designing a high-thrust engine comes with a host of complex technical challenges, from optimizing thermal efficiency to ensuring durability under extreme conditions during long-haul flights. Furthermore, international certification remains a major hurdle, as the engine must meet stringent global safety and performance standards before it can be deployed commercially. But what if UEC and Aviad Vigatel succeed? First, a twin-engine IL-96 equipped with the PD-35 could become a game-changer, opening doors to international markets. Airlines looking for alternatives to Western-built aircraft might find this model particularly appealing, especially in countries that maintain strong economic and political ties with Russia. The combination of modern design, Improved fuel efficiency and lower operational costs could create new opportunities in regions such as Asia, Africa, and Latin America, where airlines seek cost-effective long-haul solutions. Second, beyond the IL-96-400M, the PD-35 has the potential to shape the future of Russian aerospace. This engine could serve as the foundation for the next generation of Russian wide-body aircraft positioning the country as a more self-sufficient player in the global aviation industry. 
Additionally, its adaptability extends beyond passenger aviation. It could be modified for military, transport, aircraft, or cargo freighters, significantly broadening its market potential. If successfully developed, the engine would not just power a single aircraft, it could become a symbol of Russia's technological resilience and ambition. In an industry where self-reliance is becoming increasingly crucial, this engine may very well mark a new chapter for Russian aviation, proving that innovation can thrive even under challenging circumstances. The road ahead is filled with formidable challenges. The global aviation market is dominated by industry giants such as Boeing, Airbus, GE, and Rolls-Royce, companies with decades of technological advancements and well-established customer trust. For the IL-96400M to gain international traction, Russia must demonstrate that the PD-35 engine can match or surpass Western counterparts in reliability, fuel efficiency, and overall performance. Airlines are inherently risk-averse, making it an uphill battle to convince them to adopt an entirely new aircraft engine combination, especially from a market that has historically had limited global reach. Yet, this project is about more than just an engine. It is a bold statement of ambition. If UEC can deliver on its promises, the IL-96400M could evolve from a niche domestic airliner into a legitimate global contender. A twin-engine version would provide Aeroflot and other Russian carriers with a competitive lo long-haul aircraft that operates independently of Western technology, ensuring greater resilience in an industry increasingly shaped by geopolitical factors. But the critical question remains, can the PD-35 be developed on schedule and meet the high expectations set for it? If Russia succeeds, the IL-96 may not only survive, but thrive, ushering in a new era for the country's aviation industry. It could mark the beginning of a shift where Russian aerospace engineering moves from playing catch-up to actively challenging the dominance of Western aviation giants. Looking at the bright future of this engine, it could supply the power for many other aircraft beyond just the IL-96400M. It may pave the way for an entirely new generation of Russian aircraft, offering a self-reliant alternative for nations seeking independence from Western-built jets. After a series of efforts, the IL-96 has become a symbol of Russia's ability to defy the odds, innovate under pressure, and reassert its presence on the global stage. Do you think it has any hope of challenging the West or at least achieving success domestically? Share your thoughts. As always, thank you and wishing you safe flights.